That's Brittany. She's practically perfect. Perfect teeth, perfect nose, perfect eyes. Even her parents are perfect. Vote for Brittany. Vote for Brittany. Vote for Brittany. She said she wouldn't be campaigning. You should vote for Brittany. I think she changed her mind. Vote for Brittany. Oh, duh, Hector. Vote for Brittany. Vote for Brittany. Huh. Five colour photos. All with different outfits and hairstyles. She must have been up all night not bothering me. This is why you need a campaign manager. This is why I'm running, Hector. Somebody has to offer the voters something more than hairstyles. Voters aren't fooled by this... this... And razzmatazz. If elected, I promise an all-weekend pyjama party for every girl in the school. I'd especially like to invite my opponents because good sportsmanship is one of the many qualities that I have to offer. And cut. You need a campaign manager. I need a miracle. Taylor, what are you doing? Uh, uh what am I do doing? Well, I was doing what all serious sports people do. Warming up. That's exactly what I'm doing. Warming up. Right. So you surf now? Yeah. As a matter of fact, then I... where's your board? Uh, my there board it is with Andre. Andre. Uh, Andre. Right, right. I lent it to him. You did. Mm -hmm. Hey, Andre. Yeah. That's Layla's new boyfriend. Really cool guy. Right. So, how long have you been surfing? Uh, you surf, Taylor. Uh, yeah. Cool. You gonna enter the Sunburn Junior Classic this weekend? This weekend? Yeah, it's gonna go off. Uh, yeah. Sure. That'd be just awesome. Sometimes I think if something terrible ever happened to Brittany, she met an untimely end. Say, during a game of nickel. <coughs> Poor Mr. and Mrs. Flume. I'd have to help them fill the void left by Brittany's untimely demise, even if it meant making the unselfish decision to leave my parents and my own life behind by volunteering to be the Floon's foster child on a more or less permanent basis. Of course, it'd be hard to leave my family at first. Layla! Layla, wait! Wait! I'm going for a modelling job. I thought you'd be happy. You have homework. You're supposed to be giving a critique of Hamlet. Then again, yeah? maybe not that. Here it is. How can anyone leave the house looking like that? I know. Dweeb, nerd, dork, call it what you want. It's not cool. Yeah. Which part in particular? The dorky parts, Taylor? Like the long socks? Yeah, we could get that wrong. And the <laughs> low ponytail? And is that a friendship band she's wearing? Please. I wouldn't be seen dead wearing one of those. Why didn't I see this earlier? I'm slowly turning into a dork. Lucky for me, though, I've got an early warning system. Meaning Brittany. She's sort of like a walking dorkometer, which has just given a pretty loud reading on me. Check it out. What clown did that? Just leave it, Taylor. I did it. You. As if.
Hello, Glenda. Doing some shopping. For the disco. She's having a little bit of trouble finding the right look. Mum, do um, you know, you might be in luck. We've just been sorting through Brittany's wardrobe. She's outgrown so many things this last month. But they might fit you, Poppets. Yeah, she hasn't hit her growth spurt yet. <laughs> Mum. Well, anywho, the offer's open and the clothes are quite fabulous. Brittany has exquisite taste. Does she now? What do you think, Taylor? Well, thanks, but I couldn't. Oh, don't be silly. Brittany doesn't mind, do you, darling? Not at all. I like passing my clothes on to the needy. <laughs> Gives her a sense of accomplishment. Does it now? <laughs> well, that's settled. I'll send Brittany over this afternoon. <laughs> hey, what's wrong? My hair, shoes, everything. What are you talking about? You look good. Do not. I look so bad. You look fine. Come on. You're just Brittany, you know? You look good. Yeah, and I'm just Taylor. Same as ever. And you know what? I'm ready to dance. Come on. <laughs> what about the swimming carnival? Where you jumped into the water and your cozy fell off? Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Yes, it was. It, it never happened. <laughs> yes, it did. Hilarious. This is terrible. What is? This is all about to end. I mean, we'd have seven years of school together. That's like half my life. Doing the maths, Leon. And now it's nearly over. We can't let it. No. We're friends, right? We've got to stay together. But how? Leon made it into a sports high. Yeah, and I'm going to set Vineyards. And you're going to select it. Reserved and selective. You're a brainiac. You'll get in. Maybe I don't want to. And I'm going to Driftwood. All by myself. <laughs> oh, no, you're coming to such vineyards with me. Mum and Dad can't afford it. There's got to be a way. Come on, guys. Let's make a circle. Come on. Is this going to be doggy? Because um, I have a reputation. Leon. No matter what happens, we'll always be friends, right? Right. 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 Forever? Forever. 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 Is that enough? Yeah. 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 yeah.